this is Jimmy from The Productive Engineer, and today we're going to cover how to create your own templates inside of Todoist, so stay tuned. When working in Todoist, you typically will manage your tasks and organize them into projects. However, a lot of times your projects will have a lot of the same steps, like if you're developing some software, you have a certain amount of steps that you're going to complete to do that. If you're writing a blog post, you have a certain amount of steps you're doing to do that, or even creating a YouTube video like this, there's certain amount of steps that are always are there. And rather than have to recreate the wheel every time you want to build a new project, um, templates can really help you out. You can define a bunch of tasks and subtasks and save that as a template. And then when you want to use a project that, um, leverages those um, steps, you can simply import that um, template into your project and now you have all those tasks pre-populated. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. Now before we get started, if you like this video, please click the like button as it really helps me out. If you are interested in more of my content, please click the subscribe button and if you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click the bell. Thanks. Okay, and we're back. So let's get started. What we're going to do here is open up Todoist, which I have it open here in my browser tab. And you're going to come down here to projects, right? Because we want to create a new project because the projects will hold all the tasks of our template. And there's two ways we can do that. We can either click this little plus button right here, or if you already have this Chevron open with all your projects listed, you can click the add project button. I'll just click that one. It's going to bring up the project creation tab. Um, I'm going to give it a name called YouTube video creation template, very wordy, um, charcoal. No, that's not great. You know what? Let's feel the magenta, feel a little magenta today and, uh, we'll add it to our favorites just so we can see it in our, I can show you how that shows up, click add. And now you can see my YouTube video creation templates here. Um, uh, it's also selected in the main window. And I don't have any tasks because we just created it. So let's add some tasks. So let's say research potential topics and add that as a task. And then we'll you know, add a couple more here. So let's say um, write outline, create script. I know some of you may be saying, are you sure you really do all these? Anybody who's watching my videos? <laughs> yes, I do. Although the scripting is a little more um, freehand than um, structured. Um, record, subscribe, and intros. Record content. Edit in ScreenFlow because I do all my um, recording in ScreenFlow. So I always use that first. Then Final Cut Pro editing. Upload to YouTube. Edit in YouTube. Publish. Okay. And that's my template. Uh, so those are the steps every video has. Okay, so now that I have my tasks set up, um, what I can next, what I want to do now is see this little ellipses here um, to the right of the title of my project. I could click that. This is my project actions ellipses. I click that, and I can see export as a template. So this is going to export my f what I have in here as an external file. So I'm going to click that. And I have two options, export as file or export as shareable URL. I'm going to click export as file. And as you can see down here, it actually became a CSV. I'm going to click here. I'm going to show it in Finder. I'm going to right click and do open in Excel. I'm doing this off screen because, you know, there's no reason for you to really see that part. And then what you can see here, if I blow some of these up, is basically my tasks and my priorities. If I had date, you know, and this is sort of the structure of my template. So 
I'm not going to save that because I don't need to. Uh, but let's say I wanted to create a new project. And I'm going to call this the to do is template YouTube video. I'll leave that as charcoal. I'll click add. Now I have this project. But rather than have to recreate all of those tasks, I can just come over here to the project actions ellipses. Click on that. Go to import from template. And I can drag my template right here. It will upload it. And now look, all my tasks are updated. So that is sort of a quick and dirty way to create a, um, you know, to create a template and allow yourself to do that. So I can actually create yet another project as an example here. I can do another video. Let's say this is a Notion video. And this time I'll use a different color. I'll use gray for that one. Hit add. And I can do the same thing here. Project actions, import from template. Now I have my, and I can just drag that file in. It does it, and there I go. So as you can see, this is a quick and dirty way um, of really getting started in your projects. Now, obviously, every project might have some unique things. So you can always add, once you have the things that are common to everything, to your project, then you can, once you have those in there, you don't have to recreate those. So now you have, you save that time and now you just add in additional tasks that you might need that are specific to this, um, to this. So for example, I might say, like add task and say, let's say I want to do, um, set up Notion account, right? Cause maybe I, this is my first video that I'm making for Notion. It isn't, I have a whole bunch and you should check my channel for that. Um, but and I want to add that task. And then I want to take that task, if I don't know how to click properly, and just drag it to the top. All right. And um, that's how you create um, templates in Twist. Uh, thanks uh, for tuning in. Again, if you liked this video, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos, please click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified, please click the bell. Thank you.